Hello. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me okay? <gasps> we did it. Hi, guys. We did it. Hey, we did it. We did it. I miss you. I miss you too, lady. How's it going? It's good. I'm so excited for tonight's episode. Um, the trailer looked the effing bomb. I just stopped myself from saying, ah! in case you're listening. <sighs> It turned out really great. I'm so happy with it. You guys are just obviously so fantastic to work with. The script was great. They really did a great job putting it all together. Well, this isn't your first time um, at New Amsterdam, is it? So you did an episode last season and they loved you so much that they were like, yeah, let's bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. Yeah. And this one was a totally different tone. You know, the first one was all about people giving birth and like a lot of female emotions and this one was a definitely more like um high intensity threats to the hospital so it was really getting to play different things with everybody which was really nice and really fun we had that really beautiful night shoot didn't we in new york where we took those great photos um that i posted earlier of us but it was so beautiful up there it was like the most perfect evening in new york it was so beautiful and like really putting you guys against that beautiful New York City skyline and shooting it like that. And we put it on these like really long lenses. So it was sort of just like magic lights all around you. It turned out really pretty. Okay, so I have a question. Do you prefer yeah. being in front of the camera or behind the camera? It's so funny because I, I really love being behind a camera, like love it to pieces. And I did a little acting when I was in New York with Andy and I'm about to do a little acting again. And I forget how scary and nerve wracking it is. It's so, so it's good for me as the director to still be doing it because it like really just like anchors me into the fear that you feel when you walk on set. Um, but I'm loving, I'm loving directing. I'm, um, I feel pretty solid that I want to keep going down this path. Yeah, you're really killing it right now. I'm so proud of you. It's very inspiring for me um, to watch you work. So, Do you want to direct? I, I mean, I, I feel like I would like to. It scares me in some way. Um, but yeah, I think I would like to. I get worried about some of the technical stuff that I wouldn't know, perhaps. I felt the same way too. And I worked with a female director that was also a DP. And she was like, oh, because I was like, I don't know the lens sizes. I can't yell like, put on a 24, put on a 36. She was like, oh, don't worry about it. Nobody knows it either. You don't have to worry about that stuff. And it's true, you don't really. You can just be like, shoot it to here, shoot it down here. I want it to look like yeah. this. Feel like this. Um, so how would you, would you say out of this episode that we've just shot together or the one before, which one was your favorite? Oh man. I Oh no, I lost. You break. Oh, hang on, you're back. We lost all of that. Okay, I'll, I'll say it again. Can oh, you hear no. me? I have the worst service at my house. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, it's, it's my can house. Hear you now, yes. Okay, good. I was saying that the episodes are sort of like your kids and you can't really pick favorites. Because, you know, you have such great moments yeah. and such great wins making all of them. And you learn so much from each episode. Um, and I think that, like, each creative experience is just really wonderful. I loved working with Aaron Ginsberg, the writer on this show. So he, wonderful, isn't he? He's so lovely. And we had, like, the best, most creative time together. And then last season, I worked with Erica Green, but it was during COVID. So I didn't really get a chance to get to know her in the same way. So it's all just sort of different. So nice to have the writers back on set. And I think yeah. it, makes, it makes everyone's jobs easier when we can all be together. But we got, we did what we could in COVID, right? Like we just, we, we did what we could, but it's so great to be able to have writers back on set with the director. Oh, 
it makes such a difference because they're really like crafting the story and they know it so much more deeply and the intention behind things in a way that you just don't know as a director. So to sort of have their input the whole way is really fun. And someone as nice and like creative and fun as Aaron, it's just a treat. Um, anything shocking going to happen in tonight's episode? Who gets let go? The end of the episode's really sad. Uh, yes, it is. Um, can you give anything away to anyone right now? Oh no, they, I lost you right. Just about to get the answer and now I've lost her. Did I get it? How's that? How's oh, that? you're back. Yeah, yeah. So okay. can you tell me? walking around. It's my house. It's so bad. I need you to spill some tea. Come on. Let's what get in trouble. What did I say, Janet? Janet, tell them the truth that you blocked the show. Oh my gosh, I have not left the show. <laughs> sure. Um, but some leaving the show. Actually, more than one person is leaving the show. The first time so, I watched that all put together, I got, I got chills watching it. It was a when I read it, I was like, "What the?" You know, I was like, "What is going on?" And I thought this can't really happen. And then actually working on the episode and having these like emotional moments, it was, uh, yeah, you really feel like you see who your who your character who becomes part of you in a way leans on and needs around them in order to function yeah i thought those scenes between you and um i'm gonna blank on his character's name so help me ac were so lovely and so deep and so um, rich. he's so brilliant isn't he he's yeah. just to work with and we really played everything really under and like kept all of our feelings like inside and like saw the characters fight against everything and it really came together so well I'm really proud of all that work yeah it was so fun to work with you and I I loved like listening to you direct the other actor as well as me <laughs> and it, also then I was like oh I like that it's it's nice to be able to see one of the perks I think of probably being an actress turned director is you've got the experience of working with so many different directors and a lot of directors they only really know maybe how they work and a director producer but it's great that we get to see all these other directors in order to kind of carve out the kind of director we want to be for sure it's like you kind of are like okay I like that thing that one person did and I like this thing and I like this thing and you sort of make your own toolkit you're like I definitely don't like that thing so that thing's out and yeah. then you can sort of like put it together. And as you do, you're like, oh, wow. Now I have like all of these ways of expressing myself that like you're saying, you've picked up from watching so many other directors do it. It's been such a treat because we really as actors get like a real front row to so many great, you know, directors that we've come across. Do you also feel that as you get to know the actors, you maybe direct differently for different people? Absolutely. I think the first few days of a new show, you're sort of a little bit of like sitting back, like, who is this person? What's the best way of sort of approaching them? What's the best way of them working? Like, do they get better with more takes? Or are they best right out of the gate? If I give them too much direction, does that mess them up? So it's sort of like learning every person's way of working which is so nice about coming back to a show that you're like, oh, I don't have to go through that. I know that Janet can do anything. I can ask Janet, they'll say yes. Like, Ryan, I give him one note at a time. You know, everybody has their things, but you don't have, you don't have to, you don't have to take a few days to figure that out. I think, I don't know if you found this as an actor, but when someone, when a director is giving you lots of notes, even, mm -hmm. Even though, even if it was good, you think that you're doing something wrong. And it's like the worst thing you can go into as an actor, because it often isn't that. It's just like building layers on something. But you're like, why is what I'm doing not good? No, that's why I'm constantly like, you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm just looking for this X, Y, and C. And Ryan was very nice. Like even this episode, he's like, I like one note at a time. I was like, respect. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> one note at a time, my friend. And we uh, can take on more, Sherry. We know yeah. this. Like, just have. <laughs> but you know, 
that's what's so nice about coming back. It really like, there's nothing like no fear, nothing to be scared about or that nervousness of like, will they like me? You're kind of like, Oh, they like me. They asked me on a second date. Yeah. I think it's been really great for us because we've had so many incredible female directors come in and really smash it. Like last season, it was like, it was really amazing because now a lot of them are coming back, you know, and it's like, Oh, we're starting to build this family and what our show is about is like representation. So to have that behind the camera is just as important as having it, you know, in front of the camera. Totally. I couldn't agree with you more. And like I, the director right before me was Dan and I know you guys loved him. His episode turned out so lovely, but right. it's so uh, what I loved about working with Dan as well is he had a, a real plan for a, a bit like you as well. You knew what shot you wanted. I remember the first time you came, you're like, I want this, I want this, and this is how I want it to go. And you had a full plan of what you needed because you know, know that there are time constraints in network TV and you've got to come knowing what you wanted. And that was one thing that Din did great. And we we were out very early with Din. Yeah. Actually, I all about that. Well, Din <laughs> does that by four. I was like, well, good for Din. <laughs> But yes, and I think that's one of the things that you've learned is if you want to keep making TV is that it's like 12 hours, I'd like it to be 10, you got to come in really prepared, have a plan. If the plan blows up, no problem. But like come in with something so you can make the days and thankfully everybody on your show is either up for the plan or has an idea on how to make something better, which is great, which makes uh, making your day so much easier everybody on that show is just so unbelievably talented it's it's a treat I mean it's such a grueling schedule as you know because you've done it in front of the camera and now behind the camera when you come in that you just want to be respectful and it takes everyone on set but especially the director and the actors to be respectful of people's time and like coming prepared you know I think pretty much everyone on our show does come prepared um so it, the time you just, I just, I hate that. It makes me feel all funny when people don't come prepared. You're sort of like, what are you doing all day? What are you doing in your trailer? You don't know your lines. Come to work with your lines. Work ethic, I guess, doesn't always translate to everyone. No, everyone does it different, but not on your show. Everyone, like I said, from top to bottom, and even the crew just comes in ready to deliver and nail it. And that's why the show is such a treat. And the show's able to deliver such high quality, I think. Like yeah, well, you work with lots of crews now but would you agree that we have the best crew oh unbelievable i mean like just so much fun so professional yes 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 everything's yes how do we make it better yes let's do that and the writing's really good so like everyone can really like chew into something hmm. well so, i i love you and I thank love you, you. Too. the question is janet when are we going to work together when are we going to play sisters when are we going to go head to head I mean, we just need Aaron Ginsburg to write us the script and then we can, come on, Aaron, let's do he it. Somebody, I was like behind the scenes, pushing myself for a part on the show. I'm like, when are you putting I, me on the I, show? I was a fan of you as an actor before. <laughs> now maybe we need to, maybe you could direct something for us to do together. Is this happening? Sherry? Hey, it's happening, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you I would love to work with you again as a director and I would definitely love to work with you as an actress it'd be so fun you really would all right well it was lovely to see your face and you. the episode and guys thanks for tuning in and listening to us have a little chat and we're excited for the episode tonight please please get your tissues ready because it's gonna be a tough one um and yeah it's gonna be a tough one yeah. all right Season five. Love you. Bye, sweetie.